This is Wild Chronicles. The world's oceans cover over 70% of the Earth's surface, and yet they remain largely unexplored. An ambitious mission is about to change that. They seem to be creatures from another universe, but they inhabit our own planet. A part of it we rarely see. Oceans are vast and deep, and what lies beneath the surface has been something of a mystery. But now, scientists are documenting this hidden world. The so-called Census of Marine Life is an unprecedented, ambitious project to assess marine biodiversity, past, present, and future. It's drawn together a global network of a staggering 2,000 scientists from 80 nations and is taking an entire decade to complete. Counting fish around the world is daunting, but organizers say the census is vital to protecting our planet. Fishing, climate, pollution, all kinds of things are changing the ocean. But those are even stronger reasons to have a good description of what's there today, of a baseline. Certainly, we'll want to be able to say then in 2015 or 2020 or 2030 how things have changed. But if we don't do the first census, it will be very hard in the future ever to describe in a convincing way what's changed. The census encompasses all types of marine life like these Laysan albatross that inhabit Guadalupe Island off the coast of Baja, Mexico. Marine mammals also, such as these northern elephant seals, are being counted and tagged as part of this unique global effort. Underwater robots have allowed researchers to plunge into previously unexplored deep water. Already researchers involved in the massive project have made some startling discoveries including some newly identified species. Before the census, about 240,000 different species were known to live in the ocean. Now that figure may exceed one million. Big name creatures like bluefin tuna are being tagged and monitored. Researchers are counting their populations and trying to determine how they're changing. There is worrying evidence that the world's once vast stores of large fish are being wiped out, primarily by overfishing for human food. Members of our team that have looked at the changing populations of large animals or the animals that can grow large, like swordfish or tuna, in many cases, 90% of those are gone in the last 50 years. The marine census is breaking new ground these scientists are going to the ends of the Earth in order to study the depths of its oceans. Eventually, their work will provide us with a better understanding of all inhabitants of our planet, even the ones we never knew existed before.